Welcome to EDC's Week in Review, your November 8th edition. Thank you for tuning in. We're looking at a nice sunny weekend with highs around 66 degrees Friday through Sunday. Things take a turn on Monday with a 50% chance of rain and cooler temps in the upper 50s. By Tuesday, the sun starts peeking back out, and the rest of the week looks mostly clear, though temperatures will hover in the mid to upper 50s. A little chilly, but nothing too wild. Now on to our top stories. Over 5,000 pounds of illegal fireworks seized, the El Dorado County Sheriff's Explosive Ordnance Disposal Team recently confiscated more than 5,600 pounds of fireworks, many of which are illegal in California. The fireworks were discovered in a public storage unit in El Dorado Hills and later at a Folsom residence. Officials stress the county's zero-tolerance policy for illegal fireworks, which pose risks of injuries and wildfires. The investigation is ongoing, with further updates expected. Man convicted of threatening deputy, Nathan Schneider, was found guilty of felony charges for attempting to deter an officer through threats and violence, as well as resisting arrest following a July 2021 incident in Placerville. Schneider initially resisted Deputy Utterback during an investigation of possible trespass and vandalism, then later called to threaten the deputy with physical harm. After a two-day trial, the jury delivered its verdict, and Schneider is set to be sentenced on December 13th. County mourns loss of Supervisor John Heidel. John Heidel, El Dorado County District 1 supervisor and dedicated public servant, passed away unexpectedly on November 4th at his home in El Dorado Hills. Known for his four decades of community involvement, Heidel was deeply committed to improving the lives of residents through his roles in local government and civic organizations. Colleagues and friends remember him as a tireless advocate for his district, a devoted family man, and a leader with a profound sense of duty. His passing leaves a significant void in the community he served so passionately. Midnight fire contained near Diamond Springs. Early Monday morning, firefighters quickly contained a wildfire in the Tiger Lily area southeast of Diamond Springs. The blaze, first spotted after midnight, burned 1.14 acres of grass and scattered oak trees before crews from Cal Fire and local agencies halted its progress. No injuries or structural damage were reported, though the fire's cause remains under investigation. Commission Ways, Zoning and Housing Changes At its recent meeting, the Placerville Planning Commission tackled several key issues, including a zoning change proposal for rural development and concerns over a new affordable housing project. The proposed Clementine project drew criticism from residents over traffic and emergency access. The commission also approved a Starbucks drive through upgrade, citing improved traffic flow. Further discussions on zoning and housing are scheduled for the next meeting. Tahoe, Heavenly Annexation Plans The South Lake Tahoe City Council voted to advance annexation proceedings for 30 parcels, including the California base of Heavenly Mountain Resort. The move aims to provide more efficient public services, such as snow removal, while incorporating the area's zoning under city jurisdiction. The decision faced criticism from Heavenly, citing concerns over jurisdictional uncertainty and tax implications, but city officials emphasized the benefits of resolving long-standing boundary issues. Negotiations for a tax-sharing agreement with El Dorado County will follow. And now for some news nuggets. Starting December 7th, the El Dorado Hills Fire Department's Santa Run will collect toys and food for Shriners Hospitals and the El Dorado County Food Bank, with multiple donation sites and online contributions available. The California Department of Fish and Wildlife is accepting applications for the Vamos a Pescar grant program, which funds multilingual fishing and aquatic education initiatives. Applications are due by December 1st. On November 11th, Veterans Day, the USDA Forest Service is waiving day-use fees in national forests to honor military service and encourage outdoor recreation. Now on to our closing stories. Tahoe Film Fest marks 10 years. The Tahoe Film Fest celebrates its 10th anniversary this December, showcasing award-winning films and environmental documentaries in North Lake Tahoe. Organized by film industry veteran Robert Roussel, the festival aims to highlight pressing social and environmental issues while supporting local businesses and scientific research. This year's event will feature special guests like actor Billy Zane, who will present his new film, Waltzing with Brando. Proceeds from ticket sales will benefit the UC Davis Tahoe Environmental Research Center. Placerville Veterans Day. The annual Veterans Day ceremony will be held at the El Dorado County Veterans Monument on November 11th at 11 a.m. The event will feature a World War II Warbird flyover, 
a parade of flags, and various tributes, including Veterans of the Year awards. Mayor No will read the city's Veterans Day proclamation during the ceremony to honor the service and sacrifices of local veterans and their families. This has been EDC's Week in Review, your November 8th edition. Thank you for tuning in. As always, if you enjoy our content, please like, subscribe, and share with a friend. And if you want to learn more about these stories, please see the show notes.